Welcome to the Whole Food Plant-Based Cooking Show, where we make plant-based cooking easy. I'm Jill, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make a delicious, nutritious cabbage soup in the Instapot. It's the all free whole food plant-based cooking show. So we're just gonna go ahead and get started. Uh, I have already put the Instapot on saute so that we can saute the onions for and celery for just a couple minutes before we add the rest of the ingredients. So I'm just gonna stick them in right now. While we're talking about it. So this recipe, I actually made, this is one of my first videos. So it's almost four years old. So if you don't have an Instapot, I have the original version that I'll give you the link in the description below to the original recipe, which is just for a regular pot. So it's not, it's not completely necessary to uh, saute the onions or the celery, but with most recipes, you usually saute the onions just slightly before you add the rest of the ingredients. But that's really just if you're available, you know, and you're just cooking this in the evening. But like I said before, you know, if you're setting this to be home when you're, um, done from work, when you get home from work, you can just throw everything in there at the same time. And this recipe is enough for four people plus leftovers the next day because I like to have extra so that I don't have to cook lunch the next day or maybe even this could work for two dinners for four people. So if, you know, if you're only two, I would just half the ingredients. So this is roughly 10 cups of cabbage. So it's, it's a whole cabbage cut up but it comes out to about 10 cups. So we're just gonna throw that in there. And this amount of ingredients is going to fill this Instapot. And what I have, uh, like someone corrected me from my last Instapot, uh, my first Instapot recipe, this is the Instapot Duo, it says right on the front, and it's the eight quart. Uh, here I have, you can use any kind of bell pepper. I have a white or a, a yellow bell pepper and an orange bell pepper. So it's roughly about two cups of them. So I put that in there. And the celery that I had already put in there, it's three stalks of celery and one large onion that's already uh, chopped. And then the same with the carrots. It's roughly two cups or three to four carrots. And really, this is a very forgiving recipe. Um, if your, your amounts aren't exact, it's okay. It's just a really healthy, hearty, nutritious soup. And here I have uh, three cans of chopped tomatoes, no salt. Because we are doing no salt recipes. And that's why we use lemon juice. Because lemons, if you've watched some of my other videos, gives your mouth the impression that there is salt. It gives you just a little bit of that bite. So we're gonna add the juice of half of a lemon in here. And you could always wait till the end to do this too. But I'm just gonna put it all in there. I'm gonna show you it all goes in there at the same time. And then I have two cups of water. And then we're just gonna lightly stir, cause it is, a little, it is a little tricky to stir this much ingredients in this Instapot, but you just wanna get it distributed a little bit so that it doesn't cook super unevenly once you turn it on. And you could spice this also, but this is a very basic recipe. And because I like to have it for the next day or an, another meal, uh, I don't like to put any particular flavoring in it because then when I'm making it the next day, I can put some all, other seasonings, like I could go the Italian way or I could do um, cumin or oregano. And, and then it feels like you're not eating the same meal twice. Okay, so now we need to turn the Instapot, we need to say cancel for canceling the saute. And then we're gonna put the lid on. 
Oops, got some cabbage up there. Turn the vent up so it seals. And then we're gonna push pressure cook for 15 minutes. And we're just gonna let this baby go. Okay guys, it's done. And I already pressure released uh, the valve to let the steam out after letting it sit for about 10 minutes so that it won't spray out the valve. So let's take a look. Whoa, look at this. This is beautiful. It's so hot, steamy and warm. Everything, it looks like it's cooked just right. So now it's just down to the taste. And just to let you know, the full recipe will be in the link in the details below. Now, we just get to taste a little. This is such a great soup. I mean, so healthy, cabbage, celery, carrots, onions, bell pepper, and tomato. You get a bunch of those delicious vegetables in there for your day. Mmm. So delicious. And you know what would go great with these? Are the tortillas that we made from last week. So try it out guys. Let me know what you think and I'll see you next time.